BCSS staff have created a series of short videos to assist you in your role as an athletic director. This video will provide you with a summary of the BCSS transfer and eligibility rules. Before we get started, we would like to introduce you to our staff that handles membership and eligibility inquiries. Please feel free to reach out to Karen or Prob at any time with any questions that you may have. Within BCSS policy, there are both eligibility rules and transfer rules. How are they different? All students must meet the four core eligibility requirements to be eligible for BCSS competition. Transfer rules only affect those students that transfer after establishing their home school. The next few slides will discuss the four eligibility requirements. The first of four eligibility requirements is that the student athlete must be a full-time student. To satisfy this requirement, the student athlete must be enrolled in and attending a minimum of 62.5% course load or five courses. A 100% course load is defined as 32 credits or eight standard courses. If a student athlete is attending a semester school system, they must be enrolled and attending a minimum of two courses per semester and a minimum of five courses within the school year. We are often asked about a student athlete eligibility that completes their graduation requirements mid-year. If the student continues to take courses and meet all other eligibility requirements, they will remain eligible. If they don't continue to take courses, they will remain eligible for the winter season of play, but will not be eligible for the spring season of play. To be age eligible to compete in a BCSS activity, student athletes must be under 19 years of age as of December 31st of the current school year and be in no more than their fifth year of eligibility. To satisfy residency requirements, a student athlete must live or reside with a parent, parents, or a legal guardian that has been in place for 12 months before eligibility is sought, or is attending a BCSS member school as an international or exchange student. Student athletes are only eligible to participate in a BCSS activity for the school that they are registered at. It is becoming more common for student athletes to be cross-enrolled. For student athletes that are cross-enrolled, they're eligible at the school with the largest percentage of credit load. If the credit load at the two member schools are equal, the student athlete eligibility will be at the school they were first registered in a BCSS activity. We are often asked the question if a student can play for another school if their school doesn't offer a particular sport. The only avenue for a student to play for another school would be under a jointly sponsored team. If you have questions regarding the jointly sponsored team, please reach out to the BCSS staff. A student athlete establishes their home school on the first day of grade 9 or when a student athlete plays up to their feeder senior school. A student athlete who transfers after the first day of grade 9 is ineligible for a period of 12 months from the date of transfer in any BCSS activity in which they competed in the 12 months prior to the date of transfer. The receiving school can submit a transfer application to apply for an exemption on behalf of their student athlete to gain eligibility without the 12-month ineligibility period. To determine the appropriate transfer form to submit for a student athlete, the athletic director will need to know why the student athlete transferred to your school as well as what sports they played during the prior 12 months at their previous school. We are often asked if a student can play in any BCSS competition prior to being deemed eligible. The answer is no. Student athletes are ineligible for all competition including tournaments and exhibition games until they have been deemed eligible and been added to the appropriate BCSS team roster. A grade 8-9 transfer form should be used when a student athlete is transferring for the first day of grade 9. This form can only be used for students that are currently in grade 9. The notification of transfer form should be submitted to transfer a student athlete that has been transferred to your school after the first day of grade 9. The receiving school can submit a transfer application to apply for an exemption on behalf of their student athlete to gain eligibility without the 12-month ineligibility period. 
Transfer exemptions can be submitted for the following situations. Change of residence, most commonly submitted when a student athlete has moved with their parents and changed their principal residence. An exemption can only be submitted under this exemption if the change of residence occurred within the previous 12 months. The change of residence form should also be used for a parent-to-parent -parent move or move to live with a legal guardian. When submitting the change of residence form, please ensure that the required supporting documentation is included with the form. An eligibility application can also be submitted to apply for an exemption on behalf of a student athlete under the following four exemptions. The first exemption that will be looked at is the district academic program, which is defined as a coherent program offered by the school district. Next, we will review the bona fide academic, which is defined as a minimum of 12 credits, which generally equates to three full-time courses in a related program of study, not available to the student at their previous school. Courses that are directly related to sport or human performance where credits are being issued for the execution of sport training activities will not be eligible for consideration under the bona fide academic exemption. An exemption can also be submitted for financial hardship. Financial hardship is defined as when a student athlete or their family is willing but unable to meet their obligations because of unexpected events or unforeseen changes that impacts their financial viability. Examples would be a change in employment status or a change in expenditures. For consideration of this exemption, the family must be able to demonstrate the impact or change. The receiving school can also apply for an exemption for their student athlete when they have left their previous school due to bullying. Bullying is defined as an unwanted aggressive behavior that involves real or perceived power imbalance. The behavior is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. For consideration by the eligibility officer, the leaving school must acknowledge in writing that the student was subject to actions that meet the standards of bullying as defined while attending their school and believe the transfer to be in the best interest of the student's overall health and well-being. A member school can appeal a denied ruling of a change of residence form or an eligibility application to the appeals committee. The Appeals Committee meets 10 times a year on set dates as outlined in Section 944.0 of the BCSS Handbook. The Appeals Committee is comprised of athletic directors and administrators from around the province and is granted the authority to make exceptions outside of BCSS policy. Lastly, we would like to review the eligibility and transfer rules for international students. Before looking at these policies, we want to first make sure that you have a clear understanding of an international student as it relates to BCSS policy. An international student will be registered as such with the school and pays tuition to the school district according to the published international policy and fee schedule. An international student athlete must meet the core BCSS eligibility rules as well as the following requirements as an international student. They must be attending the member school for a minimum of five consecutive months or one semester, and they cannot have graduated from a high school program prior to enrolling at a BCSS member school. An international student must also meet the age and years of eligibility requirements like all other student athletes. When a school is unable to confirm the grade entry date for an international student, Policy requires that the student will be considered to be grade 8 in the school year commencing in September of the calendar year in which the student athlete becomes 13 years of age. They are not eligible to play sports based on grade level they're placed in as an international student. International student athletes are also subject to the BCSS transfer rules as previously outlined in this video. We hope that you found this video on transfers and eligibility helpful. We have time stamped it so you can refer back to it as a resource guide. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the BCSS staff if you have any questions. We also encourage you to watch the STARS and website video and also the BCSS Provincial Championship video. Thank you for watching.